Alright guys, I'm Rabir. And I'm Matt. And this is Sounds Like on Anderson's TV. Back at it again with the awesome Sound Like. We are. So what's it called? Sounds Like. Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah. Um, yeah, today we're going to be trying to sound like an artist we've tried to sound like before, but this time with a limitless, endless, never-ending sea of budget. <laughs> Which is really cool. This is one of the very, very first we did. Yes, yeah, so sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, back in Deer. It's John Mayer. John Mayer. He goes without saying, really. He's, he's just like... He's the man. He's one of my favourite guitar players of, of late, as of late, because I haven't always been into that style, but yeah. I love his playing, I love his songs, the feel, the tone, and when we did Without Busting the Bank, it was great fun, because it was a challenge. <laughs> This time it's like it's gonna be greater fun. We're gonna have a, a tonal party. Let's go party. What's up? Oh hey Matt. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, just checking out some strats. I've got to sound like John Mayer. Well you came to the right place. This is the right place. This, this is the, the right room place. that all dreams happen and bank accounts are closed. That's the one. We have to find one that does the job as well. I know he plays one of his originals as a 60 strap. Funnily enough, ironically enough, the guitar we chose on well, the first time, mm. I went, doesn't really look like a John Mayer strap, and actually it looked identical to the, his first guitar. You live and you learn. You do. However, so we're gonna have to find something we really need to find something obnoxiously obnoxiously expensive. Yeah, well we know he's a rosewood mm. fretboard guy. Yeah. It looks like it's gonna be an incredible guitar to play, however. Uh, it's a maple neck, so we can't use it. Okay, so this is this is another J Journeyman Postmodern in the two-tone two sunburst. Do we know if it's based on a 60s or 50s? Um, well, the Journeyman Postmodern, as far as I'm aware, are based on a relic-looking guitar, but with modern features. So okay. you have uh, medium jumbo frets or jumbo frets. Yep. You've got a recessed heel, yep. so it's easier to play. And the radius of the neck is so that it doesn't choke out when you bend too high like it is on original strats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's modern features but with a vintage vibe. So. Okay. I mean... What well, do we think it might get us close? Well, just looking at the other options, I mean, we've got... That is, just on a side note, that is unbelievably stunning. It is unbelievably stunning. Look. However, that ain't going to come close because it's a rosewood neck. Look at it. You know, just saying. But we also that one looks pretty cool because it's got like the it's the wrong colour, but it sounds. It's like got it. quite a similar. It's got a similar pick guard vibe to it. It looks well old school. Um, well, to be honest, it's whichever one you think will sound closest because it sounds like. I can't tell with it unplugged, unfortunately. <laughs> so, who knows? I reckon we go with the sunburst. It's a little more traditional looking and. I personally prefer it. I think it'll do the job. Cool. At uh, three thousand and twenty-three pounds, a bargain at twice the price. There you go. Hey! Oh, hey, man, how's it going? Yeah, I'm all right. Um, we need an amp, and yeah. um, I think John May uses a milkman. Yes, he does. And it's called a pedal steel. It is called a pedal steel. So. I have no experience with Milkman amps. I know that they're really, really, really high-end boutique, great quality clean amplifiers. Yeah. It's good because it's a combo. Yeah. Doesn't make a difference to the price because obviously we've we got an infinite budget. We don't care about price, so. So the question here is. Yes. Do we team this guitar up with this amp? Let's do it. The great thing about doing a sound like John Mayer by Bus in the Bank is that he's well renowned for using grey gear and that means pedals are included in that. So And quite a lot of grey gear. Yeah, they really are. Not just one. I mean in the budget version we used like two pedals. Yeah we did. The J Rad Archer. And the Katana. And the Katana Clean, Clean Boost. So this time I think we might go a little bit more I still I say we still get the Clean Boost and the uh, the Archer. Yep. But he uses an even type time factor, we should get one of those. Yep. He uses uh, the full tone MOSFET. He does use that. Two, yeah. You should get that. He uses TS808, TS9, and TS10. So I say we choose one of them. Yeah. Blues might, driver, blues breaker. It might be again one of those situations where we don't use them all. Yeah. But we have a choice. 
So let's just pick what we know we can get hold of. So that's one of them. And, and then we've got the Katana Clean Boost. Right there. So that's two. With uh, Joe Rad. Joe Rad's down there. Yeah. That's fine, that's three. Uh, time way, factor's right there. The way you can use the bus. Yeah, and the time factor's say. right there as well. And we need an analog man compressor, which I don't think we can get. We're struggling to find a compressor because obviously the analog man compressor is what we would have gone for, but we can't get one. So it's it's pretty safe to say that we have completely obliterated last time's budget. By quite a long way. Yeah, by like, like a really long way. Um, so the last thing we need to grab is a Univibe, and then we have all the ingredients to attempt to sound like John Mayer by busting the bank. Back in the video room, we are. We are again. Um, today is all about John Mayer. We've picked all the gear. Yes, we have. And we've, it sounds really good. It really does. And I think in terms of like, if we were trying to comprehend how much money we've spent on gear in this particular setup, it would be well over eight grand, I think, wouldn't it? There's a lot. Yeah. There's just, there's just a lot. And also, I think we've broken the record for how many pedals we've got for one video. Yeah, That's but a I'm good th ten. I think. Oh no, there isn't. Interestingly nine, enough, nine. though, a lot of them have a lot of relevance within this within this rig. We've, yeah. I don't think you need all of them, but you could get a com combination of a couple, and you would be just there with the John Mayer tone. I think there's some real highlight, like must-haves as yeah. well. Like yeah, yeah, I think yeah. the top row, really, yeah. like any two of them yeah. is probably a really good start to a good rig. Yeah. Um, well, we should start with the beginning of the rig, and that's the, uh, this is the Fender Custom Shop. Uh, this is the Journeyman Postmodern Strat. Yep. As we said in store, it's just got a lot of modern features, like the tapered height uh, tuning pegs, which mean you don't need the string trees, the, the f fatness of the frets, uh, I suppose the strap locks and yep. the heel on the back. So. It's a very modern strap, but... But it looks the part. Yeah, it yeah. really does. It's got a journeyman finish about it, and it just it feels really good to play. And obviously, sound-wise, it is a strap. It's a, a very, very nice strap, and sounds great. Yeah, sounds like this. <laughs> So this is going into uh, the Milkman amplifier here, and this is a 40 watt combo, um, and it sounds amazing. For those who don't know, we had a little bit of a background on Milkman uh, just earlier. Um, what is a one man operation from California in the US? Um, John Mayer is known for for playing them. Um, and he kind of made him famous, didn't he? He kind of was a big part of Milkman becoming a, a bigger thing. So yeah, yeah. if you haven't heard of, heard of them, check them out because it sounds. It's actually, I've been playing some rhythm with Pete's uh, custom shop Strat and a Fender Brace Breaker, and everyone said how rubbish it sounds in comparison. <laughs> yeah, well, which, yeah, which says a lot. I yeah. Think. So that was the guitar and the amp, as you heard, one more time. And it's got a beautiful reverb in it as well, like oh, yeah. if I show you. Basically, you could just plug into, you could plug uh, a Fender Strat into that amp on position four and go like that.
and it's like almost pretty much there, just with the lack of a bit of compression. Right, we're going to do SP compressor mm -hmm. with Katana Clean Boost. So you, we did, this is with compressor. Mm -hmm. This is with Katana and compressor. Very, very, very nice. It like is very good. Bit of that reverb. Yeah, just a little. We also, the Full Tone Drive 2, the MOSFET by Full Tone. Well, um, the, 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 the holy trinity we seem to have found for that John Mayer tone it was C3. Yeah. Yeah. And basically, we had that on, we had not on full, but we had both sides on. We had it on with the boost in to get our tone. Yeah, so it's like a push and a, a real a proper boost. So, yeah. so on. <laughs> Still a little bit clean. With a boost. Yep. It's just there. Yes, it's still quite clean, and we've got like tanks and tanks of reverb. It's got a long decay on it, is that right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they were kind of working, the three of them together, mm. as still quite a clean tone. Yeah. And especially if you knock, uh, sack off the boost, it's still quite clean. Yeah, it is. And then, so I guess we ignore the delay pedals for now, because yeah. they're, everyone knows what delay does. And the Univibe, we didn't use, John Mayer has one. Um, I think it's worth pointing out with John Mayer is mm. he does have, I think, two million songs. Yeah, he has about <laughs> two million. Yeah, and so, every pedal under the sun as well. Exactly, and he's, and he's changed his rig so many times, and it would be, mm. I'm sure with this rig, he could probably play most John Mayer songs. It's really interesting how each one of these pedals that we do know he uses, obviously the J Red Archer is a Clon Centaur clone and he's got a Clon Centaur. Yeah. What's interesting is when you, with any of these pedals you throw in, they have a different quality that still sounds like John Mayer. So obviously when we've used the full drive MOSFET 2 with that uh, neck pickup with the boost, then you get that. <laughs> For me, that's very, very close to his life, yeah. where the light is toned. take that off and so we put the clon in it's a bit more pokey less gain but if the, you combine that with the first channel of the MOSFET that's a great sound it still gets that sort of it's just a little less defined but again, if you whack in the blues driver, yep. you get the same effect. Yeah, it's really present. Low more yeah. pre loads more present, but it's a great tone. Bridge pickup. Sounds good. It does. And then we've got the tube screen, screen with Again, well, which si similar is, kind of thing. Is, is that on? Yeah, we're good. They all have a very similar quality <laughs> they to them. They do. And we wouldn't suggest walking down to Anderson's tomorrow and buying them all. That no. would probably be a bit ridiculous, but 
That is my favourite. The MOSFET, the full drive MOSFET is probably the closest to let's, that sound. Let's actually just try that on its own, just yeah. so you can see what we're... Uh, let's try it without. So this is without. Um... Okay, with. And then with the boost. It's really nice. That is, it's really good. It's just you get that extra push from the clean boost and the compressor at the same time. That's just that little bit more. And don't forget, we're only the volume on the um, clean boost is about half, and SP compressor as well, about half. But we can if we like crank it a little bit. So now lastly, moving on to those, uh, the, the sort of delay in the atmospheric, pe atmospheric pedals, we favoured the Aquapus over the Eventide Time Factor. I was, I, I have seen that John Mayer's used the Time Factor a lot in the past, but apparently nowadays it's moved on to other stuff. But I know the Aquapus has always been on the board for uh, quite a while, actually. I mean, but the Eventide is something, is oh, it's ne huge. next level compared to this, this is in like, terms of functionality. Yeah, that's like the Timeline's rival, the Strymon Timeline's rival. This was out way before that, but... Way huge Aquapus, really, really good, uh, strong resistance in the button there. It is, and we've used it very mildly, so that's literally all we've got. But adds a softness behind yeah. stuff, like uh, when you push the clean boost in and that. <laughs> It's worth noting as well that there are other pedals um, that John May uses or has used. He's got a bit of everything, doesn't he? He does, that aren't on here. This isn't a an everything board, but no. there's. I think it, it's, it's, it highlights some stuff that's definitely worth checking out if you're into that, if you're looking for that kind of tone, or if you're if you're a big John Mayer fan, or... I think it also highlights that, in this instance, this is another great example of, I think you do kind of have to spend a bit more cash to really get that authentic John Mayer tone, because when I compare what I'm hearing now to what we did in the first place, this is so much closer. truths that you've well, got to spend thousands but he is one of those guys who has thousands of pounds worth of gear and i guess this is thousands of pounds worth of gear it certainly is so well there you go i you hope are. you thought this was a good episode i really hope you thought we sounded closer to the john mayer sound yeah that's what we we're attempting to do we're going to put all the links for the description uh, all the links for this gear in the description box so if there's any specific bit you want you can check it out down there yeah and let us know which kind of which you like best which kind of sound you like best and um again let us know what you thought of the john mayer sound and if there's any other artists you'd like to see um us have a go at so there you go i've been rabir and i've been matt and this has been sounds like on anderton's tv thank you thank you john mayer has a massive piece.